Welcome back to In Ohio Country Today, and joining me now is V.J. Westerheide, president of S&K Products here in beautiful Coldwater, Ohio. And we're here on behalf of our friends at Midwest Electric and Paulding Putnam County Electric Cooperatives. V.J., how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, certainly a pleasure to have you here today. Well, tell us a little bit about your business. It's very interesting, the history of this company here in Coldwater and your connection to agriculture. Sure. Our company actually began in 1949 in Coldwater, Ohio, uh, with about eight employees and 8,000 square foot. Uh, we have been at this location since, I guess, about 1990 and uh, have had growth since then. Currently, we're uh, about 60 employees and 110,000 square foot. We're, we're very diversified, but yet a small family-owned business, certainly. Uh, our connection with agriculture, I guess you could say, is more in the area of galvanized steel funnels, trash cans, feed and seed containers, and certainly our line of funnels that continue to be very popular today with, with our customers. You know, it's interesting. A lot of our uh, viewers out there, especially in the ag community, will recognize a few of these products. Why don't you talk about that and what you're doing today to help solve some of those needs and the consistency of being involved in the ag community? Well, one of the items we're certainly known for for over the years is being the manufacturer of the old Ironsides can that you see behind us, the old gas can that I think every farm in the region had one of these cans in the barn, if not more. Uh, unfortunately, years back, we had to stop production due to EPA requirements of venting of the can. Uh, but, but we continue to service the agricultural market, certainly with our other products, and they're going well. Let's talk about your relationship with somebody like Midwest Electric. I mean, obviously, we took a little tour of the facilities, uh, multiple buildings and uh, lots of square footage here. You need power to run, and Midwest Electric is your power source. Well, Midwest has been a relationship we've had for, for I guess, about three decades, actually. Uh, just a great organization, uh, very service-oriented, great rates. Uh, we, we've had a lot of success when we've had issues over the years. They were always right here. Our downtime has been very minimal. Let's talk specifically about some of the other products that you produce here. It's nice to see these recycling uh, containers all over the world, in fact, uh, at various parks and facilities. And uh, this is just a, a microcosm compared to all the different products. Let's uh, touch on some of those different products that you produce here. Well, it certainly is a wide variety uh, for a small company like ours. What, what you're seeing is part of the recycling center line. And, and when you start, start speaking of uh, recycling, I want to make a note that uh, you know, our products are a lot of the old-style, well-made, galvanized steel items uh, that have, have been proven for many years. And uh, plastic certainly has a great market out there, and there's some great plastic products. But unfortunately, we're getting into a time when recycling is a big issue, and uh, plastic is having some real issues trying to keep up with that. And we're finding many types of past plastic product that you actually cannot recycle anymore. And I'm, I'm certainly a firm believer of if a manufacturer is making a product, be it plastic, metal, or whatever the materials are, they really should be responsible from cradle to grave of that product, meaning there should be an out in terms of recycling it. You know, we talk to our farmers out there and we talk to people who in the ag industry, environmental concerns always come up. And it's nice to see that a business has that kind of philosophy to make sure that they're being responsible. And that's one of the things that, you know, our farm and our ag community want to know is that they're dealing with businesses that are responsible to the environment and good to the people that they work with as well. Correct, and that's one of the uh, things we're very proud of is certainly not only American-made, Ohio-made, but also that we are 100% recyclable of our products. VJ, let's talk about the process. You've got an incredible facility here, some very skilled workers. Let's talk about what the process from the moment that steel comes through the door. Well, first of all, I would like to mention uh, we have some fantastic people here that have been here for many years, skilled individuals that have really built this business. They've been a big part of it for, for this past 30 years that uh, I've actually owned the company. 
that's been a lot of our process and, and skill bringing new methods into our manufacturing. And, and of course, uh, on a further note, our process here internally is we have the ability to design a product and actually build the tooling and then put it into production and, and also powder coat it, package it, uh, the full nine yards of the product. That, what, that is certainly what helps make us successful is having all these abilities in-house. You know, you're going to see S&K products in a plethora of places that you travel, not only across the Buckeye State, but across around the world, for that matter. And that's something that you're very proud of, the fact that the product really stands on its own. It's something that's durable. It's something that's environmentally safe. But the diversity, like we talked earlier, of where you're going to see these products, really what that's kind of what keeps you going, and that's kind of what you're looking for in the future, right? That's certainly the exciting part. Uh, a lot of our product uh, may not always have our name on. We do certainly some private labeling in the United States for others. But it's, it's exciting to see that we have a great following of our product lines, and we see continued growth to occur in the future. Uh, and, and we are a family business, and my sons are in it, and we're very excited about the next generation and where they're going to take this. One of, the, one of the things that we had an opportunity to do as we toured the facility was to meet a, a couple of the employees. And, of course, there are a few guys here and gals, of course, that grew up on the farm and work on the farm. And whenever we get a chance to talk to people in, in these types of businesses, we talk about the agrarian work ethic. Can you talk about those guys? You know, you said employees that, that are here, those guys and gals that work for you and that agrarian work ethic and what it means for a business owner like yourself. Well, it means a lot, and certainly our individuals that work here that have that agricultural background, that upbringing, they are fantastic workers, and, and what a difference in their dedication level to our company. One of the things, too, that I wanted to mention is, of course, their website. Uh, let's talk about your website and what people can see when they get there. Okay. Well, the, the website is www.skproductsco.com. And you can certainly see a, a variety of our galvanized steel products that are agricultural related. The other half of our business, I guess you could say, is also custom stampings, where we have customers uh, of a variety of manufacturing that we supply them items also. The future looks bright for S&K products. Let's talk about some of the family members that are working here, too. Well, uh, my wife, Marilyn, who is a CPA, actually is involved with the bookkeeping end of the business. And my son, Kurt, is our operations manager in the business, running to the day-to-day the -day part of the business. And our son, Brent, is in the design and tooling end of the business. So it's, it's, a, it's a great facet of bringing the kids in, and it works very well. A great family-owned business, a business that's been around for a long time, a business that's going to be here well into the future, and a business that has ties to agriculture. S&K Products here in beautiful Coldwater, Ohio. Our guest has been V.J. Westerheide. V.J., thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dan. It's certainly been a pleasure. It's just a few steps for tradition, for innovation. A few steps so we can all stay connected and live better lives. And just a few steps for all the Touchstone Energy Cooperative members who got us here. Learn more about the power of your co-op membership 